Today we are making the knotted gown, which is one of my favorite patterns. I made these for my babies and I started using them from the day that they were born. This is a one size pattern that fits up until about the four month mark and it's good for both boys and girls. There are three different sleeve options to choose from and I will show you those in a moment. This is my personal favorite option, the hem sleeve. This is the best option for beginning sewists, the cuff sleeve. And this is the most popular option, the finished mitten sleeve. This has a foldable mitten cuff that you can use to close over the baby's fist after they're born so they won't scratch themselves. Start by cutting out your fabric pieces and both the bodice of the gown and the sleeves need to be cut on folded fabric. There are notches in both the neck pattern piece and the bodice pieces. So before you unpin those from your cut fabric, go ahead and either mark these notches or do a small clip in them. If you are cutting them, just make sure that you keep it under a quarter inch so that it will later be covered by the seam allowance. Iron your cut fabric pieces. It is finally time to start sewing. Place your front bodice piece on top of your back bodice piece, right sides together. And then sew or serge the two shoulder seams together. If you are using a sewing machine, use something other than a straight stitch. Use a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch, something that will allow a little bit of give in your fabric. Now take your neckband piece and fold it in half, right sides together. We are going to sew a seam right there, turning it into a circle. Turn the piece right side out and you're going to fold it in half again, but this time you're going to fold it in half widthwise and putting wrong sides together. Pin this neckband to the neck opening. Find the seam that you just created in this neckband piece and then find the notch that's in the very back center of the back bodice piece. Then slowly Move around the neck opening looking for the notches and matching them up to the notches in the neck band. The neck band is slightly smaller than the neck opening on the gown, so you're going to have to stretch it a little bit as you pin it in place. And then same thing when you are sewing it. Sew slowly here, stretching the neck band slightly as you go around the curve. So from one pin to the next, and that will show you exactly how much you need to stretch the neckband in between the pins. Sew around the entire circle opening and then flip the neckband up in place, tucking the seam down into the bodice. Lay the gown out right side up because it's time to attach the sleeve to the sleeve opening. Flip the sleeve over so right sides are touching. We're going to start in the very center of this opening. We're going to sew together one side and then the other side. You're going to be sewing around a curve and then go slowly around the curve, matching up the two pieces together until you get to the armpit of the bodice. Because you started in the middle, you've got half of the sleeve attached now. And now it's time to finish the sleeve and do the other half. So flip the sleeve piece 
back towards the right side of the gown and then sew that remaining section from the armpit up to the middle of the sleeve opening. One sleeve is now attached to the gown and it's time to repeat those instructions for the sleeve on the other side. These are instructions for making the hemmed sleeve. So if you are doing the cuffed or the mitten sleeve, you can skip over this section. Flip your gown wrong side out and open up that sleeve. You're going to fold it over half an inch and pin it in place before hemming it. I am using a cover stitch machine to do my hem on my sleeve, but you can use a sewing machine just as well. Just use a double needle or a zigzag stitch. Repeat the hem for the other sleeve and then skip ahead about two minutes to part two. These are the instructions for the mitten sleeve. If you are doing the hemmed or the cuffed sleeve, you can skip ahead to part two. There are two sets of mitten pieces. For each set, you are going to take both pieces and turn them right side together, make sure they match up, and then sew along the top edge. Open up each mitten, turning it right side out, and then iron both of them. Set the mittens aside while you prep your gown to add them. Taking one of the sleeves, line it up so there is equal fabric on the front and back. Then using a ruler, measure 4.5 inches across the top of the sleeve. Cut a 4.5 inch opening along the top edge of the sleeve piece. Flip the gown over so you're now looking at the back side of the gown. Take one of the mitten pieces and line it up with the matching edges of the sleeve. Right sides are together and the seam of the mitten is facing towards the bodice. Raw edges are matched up. Pin the mitten to the sleeve, being sure just to catch the back side of the sleeve and not the front. Flip the sleeve over so you're looking at the wrong side and turn over the edge one half inch, pinning it in place. Do this for both parts of the sleeve. It's time to hem it. Use a cover stitch, double needle, or zigzag stitch to hem both parts of the sleeve. Turn the gown back inside out and match up the hems that you just did. We're going to sew the 4.5 inch opening closed. Before you start sewing, make sure that your hems are exactly evenly matched and that your mitten is perfectly sandwiched in between the raw edges. It's important to catch the edge of the mitten as well as the raw edge of the sleeve when you're sewing it closed. Repeat this process for the other sleeve and then move on to part two. Part two for everyone. Turn the gown inside out with right sides together. No matter which sleeve you chose, we're going to start at the edge of one sleeve and sew all the way down to the end of the gown opening. Stop at the edge of the opening and then repeat on the other side, starting at the sleeve and sewing all the way down. These are instructions for the cuffed sleeve. If you're doing the mitten or the hemmed sleeve, you can skip ahead about one and a half minutes. Your gown should now look like this with the bottom edge of your sleeve finished, but a raw edge on the opening. Take one of the cuff pieces and fold it in half, right sides together. 
we're going to sew down the raw edge of the cuff piece. Turn the piece right side out, but then fold it in half again, this time with wrong sides together, and match up all those raw edges. This is very similar to the neckband, it's just a smaller piece with less width, so it's going to be a little bit tighter. Slide the cuff onto the sleeve and match up all of the raw edges. The raw edges of the cuff should match up with the raw edges of the sleeve and also match up the seam of the cuff to the seam of the sleeve. We are going to sew this on in a circle. This is going to be a very tight circle, but sew all the way around the raw edge, catching both the sleeve and the cuff. Flip the cuff out, tucking in the seam into the sleeve. Repeat for the other sleeve and then follow the next instructions to finish the gown. Part three, everyone follows this step. It's time to decide what to do with the tails of the gown. If you would like, you can just leave this part raw edged. I'm going to do a serged edge on mine just for a little bit more finished look and it still leaves a good amount of stretchiness in the tails. If you would like to beyond that, you can go ahead and hem the edge just for a completely finished look. So starting from one end, you're going to go all the way around the edge of your tails until you've fully completed this circle. If you are doing the rolled edge look of the serger like I'm doing, Use your sewing machine to put a locking stitch, just a few stitches in the seam of the gown to keep that serging stitch in place. I love how stretchy these tails are. It makes it really easy to tie a good knot in the bottom of this gown. Some people choose here to turn the serged edge under either once or twice and then do a hem stitch on top of it just to have a completely finished look on the gown. Thank you.